Hi everybody, my name is Grace. Welcome to my channel. So before we jump into looking at some very interesting houses, I just want to give you a little bit of foundation for what you're about to see. Crabby babies. Uh, so we just moved across the country from Idaho to southern Alabama and our budget is between two fifty and three hundred thousand. So these are, are not like gorgeous, amazing houses. Um, there are some amazing houses, <laughs> but if you're looking for like schmoozy, like, oh wow, this has an indoor pool and a home gym, like time to go to the next video. But if you are looking for relatable, humble houses, <laughs> this is for you. So we have some really interesting ones. We have one that's like out in the country that could be turned into a hobby farm. We have a foreclosure that was in crazy, not so great shape. Uh, and we also have hopefully our house. Um, we have put in an offer and it's been accepted so it's currently in the process so yes it could fall through but as of right now we're buying a house and I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You get to guess. It probably won't be that hard to guess but comment down below after you watch the video which house you think that we are in the process of actually purchasing. It'll be interesting to see if you get it right. So let's and jump on in. So this first house that we're gonna look at is actually that foreclosure that I just mentioned and the videos don't show how grimy it really was. You can kind of see in this kitchen, but y'all, this place was a mess. Like the people that left must have been mad and they wanted to leave their mark because it was gross. And I know that that kind of stuff can be cleaned and it would be fine and you know, but you would have to put money into this house for sure. We were attracted to it because of its size and the potential to make it our own. My husband is super handy and so we love that. We also <laughs> love that they just, the one thing they left was these instrument holders, which we use. Um, but there was a cool room above the garage. The backyard was awesome. And the number one thing that we loved that really attracted us to this house is what you're about to see on the screen and porch was a giant fireplace. Like how cool is this? Awesome, absolute dream. And the backyard was really cool. But you would have to, you know, pull up your bootstraps for that one. This one was a little bit of a cookie cutter. This layout is super popular in this area. So we saw, you know, a lot of houses that were pretty similar to this one, but it was in really good shape. And the master bath was really nice. There were definitely some things to update, but they wouldn't be, you know, you can't move in until you update it. No, it's like, okay, let's jazz up some wallpaper and maybe change some flooring or something or carpet or whatever. So um, it was also in a really nice neighborhood and a really nice area. So this was a pretty great house and it also had this screened in porch, which is a really desirable thing to us as a family. And look at this big yard. So this is a great, great house. This next house we loved, we loved. It was similar to other layouts we had seen, but this one was just a little bit more smartly done. And it was kept up beautifully. We literally wouldn't have to change a thing when we move in, not a thing. The master bedroom and the master bath was gorgeous. They even, this this family had a little girl, so their little girl's room was really easy for us to picture our little girls in it. Like, it was awesome. It has a screened in porch, it has a nice backyard, literally tick, 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 tick. It is on the, it's above our budget. So, they would have to come way, way, way down for us to even be able to fathom being able to have this house but and it also has this awesome backyard that overlooks a field and there was even a cow back there which is super magical to us yes there are a lot of developments going up so that might not always be a field but it's a beautiful beautiful home and this one jumped right up to the top of our list this one was another one, sorry, I'm showing you some cookie cutter ones. 
but this was an open house and we I kind of immediately knew walking in that this was not going to be our house it was fine uh, so yeah spoilers this isn't our home <laughs> um, but for me the thing that really sold it was the backyard sucked <laughs> I was not a fan of the backyard and that's like kind of our number one most important thing this did have an extra office space which I'll show you at the end so that was really nice because that is a very desirable thing for us but the backyard was really what killed it for me my husband liked this house a little bit more than I did it was it was not for me here's that office space that was really nice it was at the front of the house very pretty, but look at this backyard. You can't tell how bad it was. It was bad. Beautiful view though, but it was like crooked and oh, no. Now this next house. Oh, look at that tree. Look at, look at this. Look, look, it's beautiful. We're plant people. So this really stole our heart. This was on like an acre a gorgeous property. The house itself was pretty dated, but again, super livable, but dated, like kitchen, things like that. A huge laundry room. It was a ranch style house, but here's where it gets bad, is this is the main bathroom. It doesn't have a tub, and having little kids, that's just not an option. And then here's the master and the master bath. It was just it's not gonna do it like my dream is to have a nice master bath and we have to have a bath for our small kids so we immediately started thinking through renovations and how much it would cost to add a bathroom on and all that kind of stuff there's plenty of room on the property but that would be a huge expense so that was a major downside to this house but the property, you guys, and we could see a cow and you could hear birds chirping and you could plant, you know, fruit trees and have bonfires. And it's just, it's so gorgeous. I mean, this guy has a lot of stuff out, so it's kind of hard to picture it, but it is so beautiful. We love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now this next house could have been a really high contender, but there were a couple things. Nice fireplace, really nice kitchen. We liked the kitchen. The backyard was excellent and the layout was pretty cool. I mean, look at this gazebo thing. This is a pretty nice place, but it smelled so strongly of smoke that it kind of canceled it out for us because we knew we'd have to like hire a company to like fumigate or whatever. And that would be an extra expense that other houses wouldn't require. So if you are looking to sell a house, just know that presentation really does matter a lot. So if you are a smoker, whatever, that's fine. But like, that's gonna turn a lot of people off if it is that potent. So yeah, this one was just, we eliminated it pretty fast. My husband liked it more than I did, but. Oh, and then this one, we tried to go in, but there was an old man who was asleep on the couch and so we didn't get to go see it. Now this house, the styling is so not me. However, comma, it was a gorgeous house. We actually put an offer in on this house because we, other than painting and things like that, stylistically, we would change some things, but this house was in great condition, had everything we wanted. We really, really liked it. But the counter offer that we got back from the homeowners gave us the ick. And so we ended up bowing out. And I'm so thankful that we did because we have found a much better opportunity for us. So, but this was a fantastic house and whoever ends up with this house will be, I'm sure very blessed and have a gorgeous house that has been well taken care of, but it's just not us. This house was kind of laughable. It was beautifully updated, 
but it was kind of after our our realtor looked at it it kind of felt like it was putting a band-aid on a bullet wound because it was beautifully updated but kind of in trash shape if you like really really looked so and it was also wildly expensive for the price for the size that it is wildly expensive so we eliminated this one very quickly. However, we did get some ideas for future bathrooms because the bathrooms and the kitchen were done really, really beautifully. But the foundation of the house and the air conditioning and hot water heater and those all looked like they were falling apart and you would have a big money pit on your hands. So we said no to this one, but hopefully it works out for someone else in the future. And I also had this weird building in the back that I don't know what you were supposed to do with it, but okay. This one was also an open house and there were so many people at this open house. It was hard to get footage without seeing other people. I didn't care for this house. The, the living room was tiny, those weird pillars that you can see. Everything just seemed really boring. I want a house with character. And so my husband liked this house, except for one aspect. The back backyard was awesome, I will give it that. But they tried to add square footage, so they cut the garage in half, just as you see, to add this weird room. So it doesn't have a working garage, so it has this random room, but it did up the square footage, but that was not worth it to us. So. We were like, no, nah, all the thousands of other people that are here, they can have this house. This was not for us. But again, the backyard was awesome, but we want a garage. Now this is our last house that we're gonna look at. It was very kind of mid-century mod, kind of a time capsule, but it had had some extensive um, updates and add-ons to it. So the square footage is quite large. It had this amazing sunroom on it with this weird um, kind of wet bar. But it had a fireplace, which is really cool, and it had benches all the way around this sunroom. So. It'd be really cool to like host people. And it had skylights, which is so neat. Look at that. But there were definitely some major updates that would be needed on this. Oh, and look, there are bunk beds in one of the rooms. So cool, so fun. And then the kitchen is just fine. Pretty big kitchen. I don't care too much about a kitchen, but this is a perfectly fine one. And then it had super ancient appliances, which would have had to be you know, updated as well. It also came with two pantries. I just want one pantry, two pantries? That is so crazy. That would be awesome. Then there was this other living room that I don't even know what we would do with. And then a wood paneled room, which I actually think is kind of awesome. This was the master that had his and her closets, very ancient um, curtains on there. So again, some major updating. It looks like it hasn't been updated since it was built. And then the master bath, very interesting. It had this huge vanity, but then an actual, the actual bathroom is tiny and it kind of looks like a Barbie prison bathroom. So that would have to have some major renovations. Here's the other bathroom. That's one is probably even a little bit worse with the blue. Well, no, I guess the pink is worse. Very retro but it would need some work. 
Okay, so which house do you think that we ended up with? I need you to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.